What Cape institution is getting chummy with penguins? Find out next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for December 3rd. We journey to Antarctica with intrepid researchers from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In the This Is Not A Toy Department, Barnstable police are seeking the public's help in finding a beanbag gun, which may have been taken from a police car Saturday night. The shotgun, which has a distinctive lime green stock, is designed to provide a less lethal way of subduing a suspect, but it's still serious and a possibly dangerous piece of equipment. In the quack counter department, local birders were out in force this weekend, participating in the annual Cape Cod Lake and Pond Waterfowl Survey run by the Cape Cod Bird Club. Last year, observers surveyed over 7,000 ducks of 28 different species, from ruddy ducks to buffleheads. Hey, speaking of animals, the Cape Cast Wicked Cute Pet Contest is underway. If you've got a hot dog, a cool cat, or an ingenue iguana, send a photo to CapeCast at CapeCodOnline.com. The contest runs through December 19th. Prizes include a digital camera, a specially designed gift basket from Cape Made Farms, and fabulous CapeCast t-shirts. And sticking with the Wild Kingdom theme, our brave scientific pals from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution are cozying up to penguins in a land far away. Researchers from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution have traveled to a land down under, way down under, Antarctica for goodness sake, in the name of science. Teams of researchers are about to visit two penguin colonies and collect rocks and map lava flows at a dormant volcano and perhaps learn more about global warming and cooling. The fun thing for the armchair Cape Codder is that you can play along at home at the Polar Discovery website with up-to-date journal entries and photos. And there are cool interviews with scientists who share their excitement for discovery and this mysterious, chilly land. Senior scientist Dr. Mark Kurtz will be looking at the ages of rocks in Antarctica to discover when ice sheets and glaciers advanced and retreated. That knowledge helps us learn more about how and why Earth's climate changed in the past, providing clues to determine how humans are affecting Earth's climate today. The Antarctic ice sheets have um, advanced and retreated in relation to the Earth's climate. And climate scientists are interested in what drives the climate for the obvious reason that it would be important to predict what influence humans are going to have on the climate. Um, and what the impacts will be on humans, for example, sea level rise. You know, it's, it's known in a general way that the, the climate has changed as a function of the Earth's orbit in a, in a general sense. But not everything can be explained based on orbital uh, parameters. So um, that's one of the reasons it's interesting to, to try to determine the timing of the the advance and retreat of the Antarctic glaciations. Assistant scientist Adam Sewell, an expert on volcanic eruptions, will be studying what happens to lava flows as they get older. In the case of Antarctica, one of the, the main reasons people go there to, to do Earth science is that it's uh, kind of the, you can take the pulse of, of the Earth there. It's a place that we know has sensitivity to global scale uh, climate change and in in our case volcanoes provide a tool that allows us to investigate some questions about how stable or unstable the climate has been and the response of Antarctica has been in the past. Now let's take a look at the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast Back by picks from Wharf Lane in Yamathport. For tonight, a chance of rain before 9 p.m., then a chance of snow showers, mostly cloudy with a low around 25. For Tuesday, a slight chance of snow showers before 3 p.m., mostly cloudy with a high near 35. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for December 3rd. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast!